Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot. It's episode number 27 and Docs, up your excitement levels bro. It's the Champions League first knockout round, second leg away to San Siro and it's the FA Cup quarter final as we take on Nottingham Forest, the championship side away at the city ground. Before we get to the two massive games though, shall we be getting on off camera. So, of course, in the last episode, you saw the big victories over West Ham by four goals to one, and the thrilling 4-2 win over Inter in the first leg of our first knockout round. Five games in a run of camera, four in the league, and one in the cup, and a decent run of form for Wolves. Uh, starts off 1-1 draw against Aston Villa in the Midlands derby. Raul Jimenez scoring our first just past the out, but in stoppage time, closing out the victory. Edda Milson Fernandez just turned into Speedy Gonzalez, said to Connor Cody, see you later, ran the length of the half and slotted in a stoppage time. Whatever that. Uh, following out three-all victory over Leicester City in the FA Cup fifth round to reach these quarterfinals today against Nottingham Forest. Um, very fortunate first goal, Will Mannion turning in one of those ridiculous tight angle shots into the back of his own goal for Oscar levelled things for the Foxes right before the break. But as the game went into extra time, tired legs out there. Who was going to be the hero here for either side in this game? Well, if there's going to be a hero for Wolves, you put your money on the Mexican. Jimenez scored eight minutes into extra time, heading in across to make it 2 1. Then four minutes later, Daniel Pedence came off the bench to wrap up the points. Uh, sorry, wrap up the victory, sorry, and put us into the quarter to the semi final, uh, quarter final to the FA Cup. Sorry about that. Uh, following that 2 1 win over Newcastle United away at St James's Park, and talk about leaving it late. 11 minutes to go, the Magpies get a deflected goal of their own as Eric Bailly scored an own goal turning it past Patricio very unfortunate nothing you do about that one as the Magpies went to go up they thought they were going to get a big victory but stoppage time oh yeah two goals for Wolves and they ba uh, they both come through the speedy Spaniard Adama Traore getting the first and then the second in the space of about what 120 150 seconds between the two goals and he scored two stoppage time uh, goals to give us the big three points there in the northeast what a late turnaround that was. Uh, before that, 4-1 loss to Manchester United at home for our first defeat in a few in the Premier League but as you'll see by my line up here I put a couple of kids in the starting 11. I, I knew we'd lose this game it was on Tuesday night. There were just a few days between the Magpies and the Cherries. This was always going to be a loss anyway, so just waved a white flag and let them have the victory. Uh, yeah, their four goal scorers, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, Mikel Marino, and Florian Tova. And Connor Cody got a consolation for us, but we were always going to lose that game. So I was totally fine throwing out a backup side and taking the L because I knew if we'd win on the weekend, that would be the right thing to do. And it was indeed. Uh, beat Bournemouth by a goal to nil. Raul Jimenez, 17 minutes to go, connected with a Nelson Semedo through ball to give us the win as he continues his hunt for the third straight golden boot we continue to remain in fourth place but Spurs are just not letting go I was talked about in the last episode it's going to be us versus Spurs for that fourth and final CL spot and they are just not letting us go one point in the gap we had a better goal difference record nine games to go but it's still incredibly tight and the real story of the season Manchester City have sacked Pep Guardiola they're three points off the drop, and yes, they do have the three games in hand, but even so, I said at some point, Man City and Chelsea are going to kick on and have a strong second half. Well, the Blues have done that, but I don't know what is going on at the Etihad. Look, they're not going to go down. I feel very confident they'll stay up, no doubt about it, but with their superb side, I, I can't work it out. I really can't. 17th place with 12 games to go, and again, three games in hand, so they'll be fine, but even so, interestingly enough... They were knocked out of the FA Cup round of 16 by Nottingham Forest. The championship side took them out in the last 16, hence why we've got them. Now, the big injury, uh, sorry, the big news is this big injury for Raul Jimenez. Unfortunately, in training the day before tonight, Raul Jimenez pulled up with a groin strain and is out for three to four weeks. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, of all the players to get injured for one of the biggest episodes of the series. It's our star Mexican striker. So Fabio Silva, now's your time, bro. You've been waiting for this chance. Now's your time. You've got to take it, young man. So, yeah, into the game on the injury report. We have two players down. Sorry, three players down if you count Caicedo, who's also down. But also, Big Chris uh, got an injury as well. Uh, he's out for uh, six days to three weeks. So, yeah, we won't see him today as we're missing two important first of them players. And this will be our team for the second leg. Patricia's a goal. About four is like Nuri, Eric Bai, Connor Cody, and Elsa Samedo, and Nevers and Forsby through the middle. Traore and Trincali inside forwards, and Buendia does support 20 year old. Fabio Silva waiting for his chance 
He's got it now. On the bench, Bettinelli, Marquez, Williams, Ward, Prowse, Jordal, Pedenz, and Nato as well. First of the two, into Milan at the San Siro. Come on, Wolves. I think we are going to need at least one away goal tonight, so we need to be brave. I know we have that two-goal cushion, but we saw in the first leg how good into were when going forward. Oh, what a start! Yes, and that's exactly what we need. Great ball by Buendia, who was just a magician in the first leg. And Francisco on loan from Barcelona for a third straight season. Look, lads, can we have him permanently next year? Or at least make sure you keep loaning him to us year after year, because he's so good. Great ball by Emmy. Francisco with a finish, and Wolves in front, five minutes in. I want Francisco to be a permanent Wolves player, but if we are to sign him permanently, like, Barca want us to meet the release clause of, like, £108 million. Pounds. That's just not going to happen. And I'm fine taking him on loan year after year and just paying the wages. That suits me down to the ground. But at the end of the day, at some point... Oh, it's Fabio Silva had that chance, but couldn't convert. At some point, Barca are going to say, enough of the loans, I've paid the big bucks, or we're keeping him here. Anyway, half an hour in, still leading by one. At the moment, we're comfortable. At some point, Inter are going to get some chances. You, you know that. You're not going to be able to keep these guys quiet all game long, especially here in Italy. But again, the key for us, if, if we can get our second away goal and cancel out Inters, then we've... We've got a great chance, but it's all about what happens, I'd say, like between now and the hour mark, really. If you need to get a level up and possibly go in front on the night as well, we are going to be fearing the worst as Lukaku plays it back to Bruno Guimaraes. And here come the hosts, Eduard, lovely ball to Hakimi. And Lukaku's at the back stick, and Castrovilli should have made it 1 1. What a sitter. Had he failed at the target from there? I do not know. That's a poor, poor miss, but hey. We'll take it. So at the break, we're leading by a goal. I don't see it staying this way, though. So I'm going to say to the boys, don't get complacent. Things can turn around very quickly in football. Keep focus. If Inter get a quick goal in the second, that could change everything. Body language is really good, though. Like, we're not feeling the pressure. We're not feeling the nerves at all. At the moment, we're just, we're calm. And there's just over 20 minutes to go, and we're still leading here at the San Siro. And a second goal would be huge. And there he is, waiting patiently for the chance and takes it when he gets it. 2 nil Wolves. Fabio Silva has been sat on the bench saying, Gaffer, please give me a chance. Well, he's got it courtesy of him and his injury and he's connected with Buendia's corner to give us a two-goal lead on the night and a 6-2 lead over two legs. Vince Carter, it's over. We're heading to the quarters. That was my big concern heading into the game. Could we get the away goals, you know? But to score two of them and to have shut down Inter, it, with the absence of big Chris in our back line as well, and oh my goodness. Oh, well, my goodness. Should have made it three and should have made it 7-2 over two legs. Goodness gracious me. Wolves have made their mark on Europe's top stage here and then some. We're a team to fear. Morton Forsby with a 7.5 tonight as well. Brilliant game from the mental man. But of course, the man of the match, no doubt. Emmy Buendia setting up both goals. And whilst De Vrij can have that one, drilling it past Patricio. It's over, boys. It's way too late. Clear calendars. Wolves are into the Champions League quarterfinals. Emmy Buendia, a legend transferring his skills from one save to another. Doesn't happen often because I rarely ever sign my legends, but... When Diaz had to be the exception. And Man City lost again. Sorry, this is blowing my mind here. Man City could go down. I don't think they will. I think they'll be fine based on the games in hand they've got and the quality at their disposal. But it, this is just as big of a story as Wolves reaching the last eight of the Champions League. You'll see Per with a number of quality chances created in the last match. Keep it up. Oh, Emmy. Emmy, bro, from Norwich to Wolves, from Carrero to Molyneux, and as good as ever. So when is that draw? For the, oh, there it is. It's, hang on. It, whoa. Oh, I remember now. It's that new way of doing things that I'm not very happy with. Don't do the quarters and the semis together. No, it should be one after one. Not both at the same time. Don't ask me why I'm so weird about this, but I am. I really don't like it. There's just something about, like, the suspense of who it could possibly be if you get through. Not knowing who it will be if you get through, you know. Without the outcome of two. But even so. So, we do the quarter-final and the semi-final draws together. And here we go. Champions League quarter-final first, of course. Where Wolves are going to be taking on... Cue the theme song. It's not Juve. 
It's not Liverpool. <laughs> it's Paris Saint-Germain. No. Oh. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> well, I might as well not even bother doing a semi-final draw because we're not knocking out the winners and the champions of last year. But if we were to somehow make it through, we'd have Juventus or Liverpool. But we're not making it through. It's the winners, it's the holders, it's the best team in the world at this stage in the say, well, certainly one of them. Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League quarter-final with an absolutely ridiculous team. Messi's not there, thankfully, that's one positive. <laughs> the fact that one of the greatest players of all time is not there in the game. But Haaland is there, he transferred from Dortmund in the summer and he's certainly adjusted to life in France pretty well. <laughs> you got Mbappe still there. you got Neymar still there. I mean, you got Lautaro Martinez coming off the bench. I um, I think we've done well to reach the last day. But somehow, I can't see us going any further than that. So, moving on. Second and final game. Nottingham Forest away at the City ground. Who, of course, knocked out Man City to get here to the quarterfinals in 19th place in the championship right now. So, firm favourites for this game as they're scrapping for survival in the second tier. However, we're about to go into an international break. So, because of that, I'm going to make zero changes to the team of Inter Milan at the San Siro. So, just wait a sec. Okay. So you've got Big Chris and Raul Jimenez and Caicedo still down, but otherwise no changes whatsoever. Perfect timing. And this is our team. Patricia's in goal. Battle 4 is like Nuri, Eric Bailly, Connor Cody and Samodo Nervous and Forsberg through the middle again. Trey and drink out the inside forwards and Wendy are supporting that kid again. Fabio Silva up top on the bench. Better Nelly, Marquez, Williams, Ward, Prowse, Jordan, Alpidence and Nato. Unchanged lineup. Hopefully no change to our performance and no change to the result. Let's get a winner reach the final four. Come on, Wolves. I'm not sure if that got picked up in the mic there. I'm sure it did. It was pretty loud. <laughs> I thought it was uh, going to be because we stole a victory at the San Siro. We didn't really, though, did we? We actually played better. But anyway, first highlight coming 12 minutes in here at the City Ground as we look to take the lead here in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Ruben Neves crosses and oh, yeah. I told him this is the chance and he's taking it with both hands. 1-0 Wolves. Ruben Neves, by the way, is a heck of a crosser. That's something you wouldn't normally associate with a central-based player, but his whipped balls into the area are pretty goddamn accurate and dangerous. Fabio Silva heads in. We don't need a second replay, FM. We lead by a goal early. Perfect start. It's been interesting, Neves, for a while, but I mentioned before, there's not been a suitable bid for the guy. He's worth over 100 million. And when you think of his contract as well, as he oh, almost set up another one for Fabio Silva, when you think about his contract as well, he's still got another, what, three and a half years left on his deal, plus that optional two year extension as well. So obviously, the guy's going nowhere. And, um, yeah, no doubt about it. He'll stay a Wolves player for a very long time. Anyway, 1-0 still, 29 minutes in. Could have been 2 0 up had it not been for the woodwork. As the hosts go for goal, but Patricia makes a simple save. Ike Nuri down the left. And a young left back has plenty of red shirts ahead of him. But is he going to try and take them all on? No, he'll cross it to the middle. Oh, the dilemma I've got on my hands is ridiculous. And Fabio Silva bags his brace. 2-0 Wolves, 29 minutes in, the youngsters combined for our second. I just don't know what to do. Do I play him on the left and bench Traore? Surely I can't bench the Mexican going for his third straight golden boot. But I don't know what to do. As far as I'm concerned, no player is worth totally changing the club culture or tactical system that you've adopted if you're, you know, sort of like sticking with it forever, as I do with the 4-2-3 on control possession. So, how on earth did that go in? Sorry, Patrick Roberts makes it 2-1, but Patricio, how did that, sorry, how did that go in? You know, Patricio this season has actually not been that good. He's made quite a few errors, and, um, I mean, it's accurate, but it was pretty goddamn slow. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to do with Silver and him, and as I really don't, I'm still winging it at the moment, and to be fair, it's working. Still leading by a goal. 14 minutes on the clock, not safe yet. But we should be now. Trincao turns in Ike Nuri's cross of the back stick. Second assist of the game for the young Frenchman. And that will do it now. Well, I'll be honest here. We've not exactly been dominant at the city ground. But those goals there from Silva and Trincao, the young Portuguese forwards, are going to give us the victory. Into the semi-finals. Final four. Here we come. We're heading back to Wembley. Ike Nuri's had a bit of a stormer today as well. 
as Fabio Silva latches onto a long through ball and does convert. Took his time to convert for his hat-trick. Oh yeah, hat-trick for Fabio Silva. Oh my goodness gracious me. I don't know what to do. I really don't. But again, at the moment, it's working. Great ball by JWP. Fabio Silva gets onto the end of a mistimed jump and converts at the near post. 4-1 Wolves. Final four. Here we are. I think from next season onwards, that's when I'm going to split the game time down the middle between Fabio and Raul. Because it'll be him and his final year of the contract. And of course, he'll get a new one. But... I've just got to give Fabio Silva the game time he needs to develop because otherwise he's not going to turn into the world-class striker he can. And he's proved it today. He's certainly capable of stepping in when required. Hat-trick at the City ground. He got one in uh, the San Siro as well. And we are into the final four of the FA Cup. And when is the draw? Okay, we'll do that together and then we'll end it there. Wolves have a chance at a double at this point. And it's basically going to be London versus Wolves for the FA Cup semi-final draw. Because you've got three London sides in there. You've got Brentford, you've got Chelsea and Arsenal who have just made it through. Plus us. Here we go then. FA Cup semi-final and Wolves have got Chelsea in the final four. So Brentford, the remaining team outside the Premier League, will take on Arsenal. Will take on Chelsea. And again, Chelsea this season haven't been the best. They got off to a catastrophic start. But they have turned it around since then as we were expecting. Ivan Tony signed for them, interestingly enough, by the way. But um, yeah, Chelsea in the final four. That's, that's a very even tie, I would say. We've got a very mixed record against Chelsea. But bring them on. Repeat of the FA Cup final back in season one. Sorry, it was Chelsea, wasn't it? Wasn't it Chelsea we lost on penalties? Of course it was. I knew it was. Why did I just inflict that heartbreak on myself again? So that'll do it for today's episode of the FM Reboot, guys. Big fan, you're fortunate if you enjoyed it. If you had them, please do drop a like. Much love to you. Have a fantastic day. And oh, come on now. Come on. You know we're coming back with PSG in the first leg. And then the Saints away in the Premier League. And then we'll play the second leg plus the semi-final in the episode after that. Have a great day, guys. Much love to you. And I'll see you for the next episode of the FM Reboot.